George Sawtooth here. This mountain, this mountain right here, that's the Twin Sisters. It's a hiking trail that goes up to the top of those two. They are actually part of Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm here at Lily Lake. Look, it's frozen now. Down the, that way is just this park. Yeah, it's frozen Lily Lake here. We're at roughly 8,900 feet, 8,900 feet. It's about two miles hiking around this lake. Gorgeous though, isn't it? Even in the winter time, it's gorgeous. Look how beautiful Long's Peak and Mount Meeker. Long's Peak is named after Stephen Long, and um, Mount Meeker is na named after Nathan Meeker, who, by the way, is buried in the Lynn Grove Cemetery in Greeley. So I have a video about that. Uh, well, not about Nathan Meeker, but about a short stroll through the Lynn Grove Cemetery. Rocky Mountain National Park was um, spearheaded really by Eno Smills. In 1884, Mills left his family in Kansas and moved here when he was only 14. Next year, he climbed Long's Peak for the first time. He repeated the ascent more than 250 times, usually while guiding nature walks from his homestead or homestead cabin or Long's Peak Inn, his nearby guest lodge. Uh, Eno Smills. There's the guy right there. That's just beautiful how Long's Peak is just shrouded in clouds. Anyway, this is Lily Lake. Not many people here today. It's, it's a Wednesday, so most everybody is at work. Gorgeous though, isn't it? really pretty in the summertime. This is probably the first time I've been to Lily Lake in probably 30 years. I bet I normally don't come this way because Rocky Mountain National Park just gets too busy anymore. Right behind those these mountains right here is a Bear Lake, Bear Lake Trailhead. I guess now I can talk about uh, Mr. Joe Halperin. Uh, he was a young man, 22 years old, came out to Colorado, came out with his family, his uh, mom and dad, and he came out with his best friend's brother. His best friend couldn't come, and uh, they stopped by the Black Hills, and they stopped by Yellowstone, and then finally, ended up in Rocky Mountain National Park here and they wanted to hike uh, up to starting at the Bear Lake Trailhead. He loved to hike and so him and his friend went hiking from the trailhead. I guess they got up sometime in the afternoon. I believe up to uh, Taylor Peak. Uh, he wanted to keep going on to Flat Top Mountain. His friend didn't want to go and uh, his friend said, I'm going back to the trailhead because it's already getting pretty late. So, but Joe kept on. He, I guess there was, somebody had seen that they had 
kind of a little argument about whether they should go on or not. But his friend went back down to the trailhead. His, his uh, friend was Sam. His best friend's name was Isidore. And uh, Joe kept going on to Flat Top Mountain. And by six o'clock, he wasn't even back. And he was really never seen again. Uh, they did a try to find him for a few days and they called it off there was just no trace of this guy Joe Halpern uh, they said that a uh, ranger said that maybe that he fell off into a crevice somewhere and they couldn't find him but you would think after all these years since 1933 they would have found his remains somehow Yeah, his parents were very distraught for many years after that. After you, know, you don't you lose your son, you don't know what happened to him. They think that maybe he. They had a theory. I don't know. It, maybe it kind of helped him. They had a theory that uh, he was kind of tired of uh, because he was an astronomer too. Uh, just graduated and he, I think he was going to go on to graduate school and uh, they said that maybe he got tired of going to school and maybe he just wanted to leave leave everything and go hang out in the wilderness or do something different with his life but they never they never did find him and if he, if he had done that, like went and skipped out somewhere just to have a different life, he, he would have contacted his parents eventually. Oh, this is a lily lake. Very beautiful. I have a YouTube channel, George Sawtooth. Oh, check it out. Okay. Making a new video. <laughs> Take care. Mount Meeker. Kind of has a U on top right there. Very peaceful out here, isn't it? Some more notes about Mr. Joe Halperin. It's weird how when people disappear, there's some people say that they they've uh, have seen and spotted uh, people, like uh, these people back in 1934 said that they had saw had seen Joe and uh begging for a meal outside of a Phoenix restaurant why would how would he end up from Rocky Mountain National Park clear to Phoenix unless he hitchhiked but I just don't believe I think he's somewhere up there still hidden his bones are up there in Rocky Mountain National Park sisters there's a trailhead that goes up along there and 
ends up at the top of the Twin Sisters. See these rocks? There's a lot of rocks around Rocky Mountain National Park like that. Those are old lava flows that have hardened into rock. Boy, that wind is chilly. up here and in, in this video there's a snow bank here wow the snow beautiful isn't it Sawtooth. See you in the next video.